What's up, everybody? Welcome to Where the Loco Skate. I am your host, OG Skate Show. And today, my next guest is none other than David Peralta, a.k.a. Zombie Wolf. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, dude, man. Thank you for having me on here. Of course, man. My first question to everybody is going to be, what city are you repping? Right now, I'm repping Rolling Heights, man. Rolling Heights. It's an unsung city, man. We got street spots for days out there. That's what's up, man. And what city did you start skating in? I grew up in uh, West Covina skating right there. Uh, my little spot with the homies was uh, Amor and Azusa, the corner. Mm-hmm. We had a Rite Aid and then a Jack in the Box right there. Jack in the Box again. We love those Jack in the Box spots. <laughs> Dude, you got to love it. Yeah. And we were growing up in those times with no cell phones. So back in the day, you couldn't just be like calling someone and be like, hey, what's up? Where are we meeting up at? Was that the meetup spot? That was the meetup. If you wanted to go skate, you just go there. And someone There was always someone there waiting for someone. That's dope, man. And did you have any local uh, skate parks growing up? Uh, not really. For my first three years of skating, it was just straight street skating. Just loading docks, red curbs, jack in the box. Yeah. Jack in the box people hated us. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, but until you you have a order a couple of tacos, then you're all good, right? Until okay. the until you have to buy a drink or something. Ah, oh, dude. At a certain point, it got to a point where they they started inviting us to their Christmas parties because we became part of that uh, Jack in the Box family. That's what we want to know here, man. See, Jack in the Box. You want to be a sponsor? Let us know. Anyways, <laughs> uh, on to my next question: Who got you into skating, or how did you get into skateboarding? Oh, that's a good question, man. Um, I've been skating since I was five. I've always had a board under my feet. My uncle, he bought, he'd buy them for me at the Swami. I would just push them around. Swami board. But like yeah. around like, what, 12, 13, my middle brother, he met our friend. His name was Carlos King. So Shout out, Carlos King. Yeah, wherever you're at, buddy. Thank you for everything you did for me in skating. But, that's what's up. You know, he would come around the house, and I knew nothing about skating. I didn't know anything about kickflips, ollies, or anything like that. I didn't know about skate videos. He's, he's the one who introduced me. He'd come over and we'd just skate in front of the house. Just sit there and he'd be like, oh, this is an ollie. Or he'd get on my BMX bike and pull me. He's like, learn how to ride off the curb. I'm just going to pull you fast enough. Now you got to do this little manual. Ooh. Yeah. Damn, that's scary as a little kid. But sometimes we got to start somewhere, man. Oh, man. I still always be scared of clip, clipping that little crack right after the gutter. Cracks are my worst enemy. All of us. All of us. <laughs> Now, uh, growing up, what was the first trick that you learned besides an ollie? Like, what was the first thing that got you hyped? Like, oh, Man, honestly, I'm going to say I focused on trying to learn to kickflip for at least three years. Everybody kickflip. Yep. It took me three years to learn how to kickflip, and my first kickflip was down an Aster. First kickflip down an Aster. Now, not everybody's first kickflip is going to be like that. Mine was stuck in a crack on my driveway, stationary. Yeah. But that's fucking dope, man. I love it. Dude, it was a good experience. All right. Um... What would be a video that you watched growing up that uh, hyped you up to get out there and skate? Shoot, honestly, it's going to be Zero Dying to Live, man. I was Zero. obsessed with that video. Zero was always putting in work. Dude, they were like the rail monsters at the time. And then the music, because I'm big into music. That's what that, 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 music, that video had like a good music soundtrack. Soundtracks? I tell you, man. Uh, I wouldn't know a lot about music until I started watching skate videos and then it opened up. My world, because if you look at me, you would think rap, maybe oldies, but skate videos opened up my mind, and it took me to another level, man. Oh, no, definitely, because uh, growing up, I was a little bit close-minded to music. I was all like, oh, punk rock, Same punk thing. rap. I thought the way I looked, I was supposed to like what I looked like, but exactly. that's not the truth. Oh, yeah, at a certain point, like, you know, thanks to skateboarding, I just started hearing hip-hop, and I'd be like, dude, I like this hip-hop song. Like, I'd be watching some, like, old-school videos, like, old-school Clan B videos, Old school shorties videos, and I'm like, what? what? Some Deltron? That's uh, sick. Some hieroglyphics. So uh, nowadays, what's in your headphones? Do you listen to headphones while skateboarding, or what's playing in the background? Oh, definitely. I listen to music all day, man, but I can't pinpoint one set of music I listen to because it's just what I'm feeling that day, you know? Like, one day I can walk in, I'm feeling some, some drum and bass. One day I could be feeling some reggae. One day I'm feeling some experimental shit. That's dope. That's what's up, man. Um, skate crew growing up. Do you have a skate crew? Bunch of homies that you oh, yeah. would meet up with, like you said, at, at uh, Jack in the Box? Do you want to give any of them a shout out? Oh, hi, dude. Shout outs to all the boys from Team Fucking. My homie Angel, Michael, Eric, Artie, Paul. Grew up with all those dudes. Great times, especially when we just sit there and just talk and smack to each other at the Jack in the Box all day. Of course, that's what we all did, man. <laughs> uh, favorite pro? Uh, definitely in the beginning was Chris Cole. Chris Cole? Now I got a 
I got a handful of them right now. Yeah, there's so many out there to choose from nowadays that you can't just choose one. You you choose five, you leave out five, man. Exactly. Um, let's see here. Dream sponsors. You ever have some dream sponsors you ever wish to grow oh, up having? Definitely, man. Uh, I, would always be, I would always say uh, it'd be zero or real skateboards. Real? Okay. Definitely would be on Independent and Bones. All right. And uh, If you're my... listening out there, watch his <laughs> videos, man. You might want to give him some stuff. Uh, I, think it's too, I think it's too late for me now after two knee surgeries. Two knee surgeries, huh? So yeah. you had some surgeries going. Uh, yeah, I'm on a bad knee myself, and I'm scared to. I'm probably gonna need surgery. But um, how's that working out for you now? Are you still on the board? Uh, I try here and there, but it, it doesn't work out as it doesn't work out to the fact that I know how I can skate mm-hmm. and I can't skate to that level, so it frustrates me. So now I gotta learn to skate a different way and like tone That's it down. That's the same a little thing. Bit. Like everything now, I I gotta do is like. Low impact. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I can't go full throttle anymore. And uh, kind of sucks. But at the same time, we need to heal ourselves and we need to get better. And then hopefully we get back on that shit. Oh, definitely, dude. Yeah. Um, what's your board setup like today? Today, uh, honestly, I ride the most obscure size board. It's an 8.06. 8.06. Okay. I can only get that from real. So real? I was buying real boards right now. That's what's up. If I... you want to be a dream sponsor and be on a dream team, you got to rock that. That brand, man. That's definitely, what I say. Definitely. My trucks, they're going to... It sucks they're independent on making them more, but they're independent lows, hollows. Okay. Really rare to get your hands on. I had to order them, for, I think, from the East Coast last time I got them. Wow. And then wow. I got Bones Wheels. Looking for those trucks. Bones Wheels. Anybody out there, yeah. let us know. Yeah. Oh, dude, if you can find me Bones a stockade of uh, fucking Indy Lows, mm-hmm. woo, you'd be my savior. Yes, leave a comment if you have those. <laughs> um, any hobbies other than skating? Definitely, man. I picked up music. I do uh, disc golf now. Disc golf is, yeah. It's trendy, man. But I've been playing it since I was younger, like around 21, but I just got back into it. I just picked up sport fishing. Sport fishing. Uh, the, nice. The homies got me into surfing, so I'm trying to learn that. I've tried that once. Uh, definitely. Didn't, didn't stand up, but it's all good. I had a great time trying. No, definitely one of the hardest things in the world, man. For it's sure. a workout. It is a workout, man. I, I It was so embarrassing for me. I remember paddling out all crazy. I thought I was so out there. And then some guy walks by me fucking ankle deep. And I'm over <laughs> here struggling. Oh, so, dude. Uh, yeah, those 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 currents are c- kind of crazy, man. Dude, definitely. You don't know how many times I'm saying that. I'm like, yeah, hey, I look cool paddling out. And then, dude, same thing. Just walking yeah, right by you. Yeah, and you're like, like, what? What? I just exerted all this energy for nothing. And you're far out, though, too. It, yeah, yeah, definitely. Man. That's cool, man. Disc golf. So... How many times do you go out during the week? you do that often or no? Dude, I'm out at least three times a week. Three times a week? Three times a week. I, I hit my home course, which is uh, Whittier Narrows. Okay. Uh, I, cut, I, I do uh, all the courses on the way home from work. So that's his local spot right there, just uh, to let you all know. Come out every Monday. We got the weekly, man. We're trying to grow the, the community out there. It's just as great as skateboarding, dude. Everyone comes out, has a good time. Everyone, you know, banters with each other, and we have a great time out there. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, skate shoe that you rock? Oh, definitely, dude. If I could go back to uh, my first skate shoe that I really liked would be the Fallen, the Troopers from Chris Cole. Okay. Those things were perfect, slim, great for flicking. And after that, I went into the Hermans from America. Mm-hmm. But right now, I'm all about the Jocelyn's out of uh, Etnies. Etnies, yeah. Greatest shoe ever, man. It just sucks that the bottom lasts so long. You have to super glue the hell out of it just to make the shoe last you. Really? I haven't had that issue. Of course, I usually change my shoes up quite often. Oh, dude, I try to make them last because shoes are pricey these days. They are, man. I mean, the the more you spend, the better you're gonna be, though. Oh yeah, that's definitely. true. You know, spend spend the money you want on your gear to be as good as you want. Now this is kind of off the wall question. If you were a dinosaur, what kind of dinosaur would you be? Oh man, that's a great question. You know, I've had this <laughs> answer in my head for years. <laughs> Let's get it. I would definitely be a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Why is that? Because you're carnivorous and you can fly. That's what's up, man. (laughs) Dude, Dude, it's just like in skateboarding. I love to fly. I like jumping down big things. That's That's what's up. That's the closest to flying I'd get. That's what's up, man. Now, these are the kind of questions that we ask on my show, man. Let's get it. (laughs) Um, That seems to do it for today. I want to thank my homie for coming through. Well, actually, I have one question. Uh, Zombie Wolf, how did you come up with that name? Honestly, that's a great one. No one's ever asked me, but 
It comes just from my love of zombies. And then I've always had a thing for wolves, man. Like, wolves are fucking badass. For sure. And I wouldn't want a dead wolf that you can't kill coming after me. Yeah. And then I like wolves because they're just, they're lone wolves. I'm an introvert. Okay. I have trouble sometimes socializing with people. Unless, like, we're close friends and I've known you for a while. Hey, me and meeting new people, it's hard. I'm really introverted, but so I have extroverted parts of me. That's sick, man. And that's it for today, man. Thank you for coming by, my homeboy. Dude, no, Shit. thank you. Damn. Make sure to check us out on We're the Local Skate. Check us out on Instagram. You can follow me at OG underscore Skate Show. Uh, make sure to like and uh, leave a comment. Let us know if you have a homie that you want to see on my show. We'll get him interviewed. Uh, that seems to do it. Do you have any shout outs? Dude, shout outs to everyone who's ever helped me. Uh, embrace your fear. I got shoot shout outs to Footprint. They always hooked up my feet. Um, and all my old local shops that helped me come up. Utility and platform. That's what's up, man. Till next time, I am your host, OG Skate Show. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace out, guys. <laughs>